What up, Crosspoint? Hey, I'm so excited because today is day 20 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting, which means you've almost made it. You got this. One more day. I have the privilege today to talk to you about one of the most amazing events in all of human history, the most amazing event in all of human history, and that's the resurrection of Jesus that's recorded in John chapter 20. Man, it's because of the resurrection of Jesus that we're able to look at death and sin and say, you don't have any control over me anymore. This is the event that our faith is built upon. And it's because Jesus rose from the dead. Since then, everything has been changed. And it's incredible to look through the chapter and see the account that John has of Jesus appearing to the women first and then to the men in these locked rooms and performing these amazing, wonderful signs. But at the end of the chapter, it really struck me in verse 30 when it said, the disciples saw Jesus do many other miraculous signs in addition to the ones recorded in this book. But these were written so that you may continue to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing in him, you will have life by the power of his name. Do you know that the disciples in this book, they didn't just know about the resurrection. They didn't just know about Jesus. They believed in Jesus. There's a big distinction there. And I know that there's a lot of people around here who know about Jesus, who maybe know that at some point this he lived on this earth and, and at one point the tomb was empty. But there's a big difference in believing that Jesus is the Son of God and has done all these incredible things for you and for me. These men, these 11 men who are the disciples of Jesus after this, because they believed, they turned the world upside down with the story of Jesus. And my question for you today is, do you just know that this stuff happened? Do you just read about this in a book and are aware of it? Or do you believe it? Do you believe that Jesus is a son of God? And by, by believing in him, you have a life by the power of his name. If you, have, if you answer with the latter, my second question to you is how has believing in Jesus changed you or the people around you? So I pray that today you live with a life that acknowledges that Jesus is the son of God, the Messiah that came down to rescue us. And I pray that you would have that awkward conversation with that friend who you know needs to hear this good news as well. I pray that God blesses you today and know that one more day in this fast, you've got it. God bless.